Alright, so I'm going to install the brake pads on the Scion, and then we're going to test them out. I also got the control arm and the two bearings pushed in on the Celica, so uh, after I'm done, this will be like a video on its own, and then when I'm done with this car, I'm going to get work on the Celica. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these a quick coat of paint, and uh, then once th I'll let that dry while I'm working on this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're bushing. There you go, now I'm not gonna die. Someone's cutting grass right now and it smells amazing. Don't you just love the smell of fresh cut grass? I do. All right, I'm gonna hit it with a rust reformer to see if that does anything. Um, I don't know, I barely use this stuff. I'm gonna try and see if it even does anything. And then you're supposed to paint the rust with this it changes the rust to like a paintable surface i guess and then you paint over it but i have low expectations so let's just see what it does The struts on this thing are so rusty. Everything else is like okay. Like the sway bar is rusty, but it's not bad. The tie rods are rusty, it's not terrible. You know, the control arm's okay. There's a little bit of rot on that, but it's not like super bad. The only the strut and the spindle are pretty pretty rusty. So yeah. I mean as long as there's no holes in it. Fuck it, maybe I'll spray some rust reformer on this. I doubt it's gonna do anything. This is rot, but uh, I gotta change these out eventually. It looks like someone put lowering springs on it, so eventually I'm gonna change these out, but right now they're good, surprisingly. I don't know how, but they look like shit. <laughs> it's gonna need, uh, how are these? And it's like, it's funny because it's like nothing has play. It's just very rusty. He let it, whoever had this let it sit for a while, but yeah. These are the brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pads on it. So yeah. So, quick tip for when you're doing work in your driveway. I just sat the car down on a piece of wood on the frame. Uh, Cause if you leave it jacked up or you put jack stands on it, it's gonna put holes inside your asphalt or concrete driveway. Uh, maybe not concrete, it might be just asphalt. It depends, like if it's really hot out, it'll sink. So usually I put a piece of wood underneath the jack, but I had that block of wood. So I just sat it on the frame, which is just as good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So I got a, I got a 14 millimeter on a 3.8. So grab a 14, bolt here, bolt here, loosen those up. All right, so after you take it out, your caliper will just kind of come right off. Maybe you have to peel it off, stick a screwdriver in it and pry it out, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get the new pads. So sometimes the brake pads have paint on them and it, it's hard to slide them in place. So what I do is I grind down a little bit of the paint. Um, it also is sometimes because there's crud on the hardware, on the caliper bracket. So just clean up the caliper bracket and the hardware as best as you can. You can use new hardware if the kit came with it or if you have new hardware. I don't care, I don't bother with it. Um, you should also grease up the slides, put a little like uh, like a lubricant, silicone, or some kind of little bit of grease. Again, I don't do it. I change pads so often that I don't bother with having to do that. You should uh, as like a daily use, but as long as, in my opinion, you grease the slides to help it move better and so rust doesn't build up and then they get stuck or something. In my opinion, I don't have that happen. As long as you use your brakes diligently, they don't usually just get stuck. Um, I've never had a problem with it. People will probably say you need to do it and you should do it. Yeah, it's fine. You should also probably change your rotors too when you're putting pads on. 
the whole idea is to do this as cheap as possible and yeah that doesn't mean like cutting corners for the sake of like oh i'm not doing it right cutting corners but just doing it in the sense of like well i don't think it's as necessary as people make it out to be you should i don't bother um yeah it's not a big deal just put your brake pads on so yeah so i uh ground down a little bit of the paint so they slide in easier and there you go and then you put the other one on the other side and i'll show you how to compress the caliper all right so i just discovered that so i just broke the slide inside the caliper bracket now it's funny because i remember i cleaned these up and i put the brakes back on and everything was fine everything came out before now they got the bottom one got stuck for some reason and yeah i greased them see this is what's funny it's because i actually greased them i cleaned out the slides i put braking grease on the inside so it doesn't seize and it got the bottom one got stuck somehow so when i went to go break it free it just snapped and now the only solution to this is i have to take the bracket off and buy a whole new caliper because they don't have they don't make uh you can't just buy a bracket with slides you have they force you to buy a caliper at auto parts stores I'm gonna do some research online and see if I can just get a caliper bracket or slides and I'll heat up the bracket and shoot the slide out at my work. Um, but yeah, right now it's not looking good. So I gotta figure something out. Well, okay, so in an effort to make myself feel better about what just happened, I'm gonna put stickers on the car. <laughs> uh, it sucks. Okay, well, yeah. I'm gonna grab my EBC sticker and throw that on, so. Now I just feel so much happier. <laughs> okay. And it's kind of crooked. Great, okay. Well, I'm gonna go figure out how to solve this problem. All right, so I think the easiest option here would just be to get a whole new caliper. They don't go for a ton of money and what i'm going to do is i'm trying to keep this as cheap as possible now may, now just because of that happening now it's not going to be as cheap as possible so i'm gonna steal the bracket off the new caliper i buy with the slide pins and uh, i don't because i don't want to change the caliper i don't need to but now i have a spare one just in case i need to eventually so i'm just going to uh go to the store and buy a bracket with caliper and uh, replace it. But before I do that, I'm gonna check the other side really quick and make sure I can free up the other side if it's stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, this side went on completely normal. There's nothing wrong. It, this side went on completely fine. I don't understand, it's so stupid. Um, the slides came right out, it was fine. There was no problem at all. <laughs> I cleaned up the other side when I did the brakes I don't understand how they locked up. Ugh, I don't know. I have no freaking idea, but whatever. So that's, I'm gonna go get another caliper for the other side so I can finish this. All right, got my caliper and bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. All right, there it is, new bracket installed. I didn't put the caliper on, I don't need to. It looks kind of crusty and if I were to do the caliper, I'd change the hoses and stuff too. So yeah, because they're pretty just old looking as you can kind of see right there. Um, but yeah, so it's not leaking, obviously, so it's good. And uh, yeah, I got the pads in. So if you wanted to know what size the bolts were on the bracket to take them off, they were 17 millimeters. So I grabbed my massive 17 millimeter breaker bar ratchet and uh, broke them loose, tightened up the new caliper. I put the new hardware in it, put the pads in. Let's put the wheel on, let's take it for a drive. All right. Make sure when you do your brakes, you pump the pedal before you drive the car. I did that once where I didn't pump the pedal and I hit a pole because I had no brakes. So yeah, make sure, pump the pedal, make sure everything's good. We're gonna take it for a test drive now. It, the pedal feels stiff now that I have like full pad life on the front versus before. So let's go. Right here. And then we're gonna see how it stops.
first time stopping. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh, I can feel that. I'm gonna let this Subaru go. Yes, you're welcome. That does not sound like a Subaru. <laughs> what the heck is that? It sounds like a diesel truck or something. All right, here we go. We're gonna stop pretty hard here. Whoa. That's nuts. That is insane. Holy crap. This thing nose dives. All right, so I gotta set in the pads here. So I gotta get away from this person because uh, I need to, you need to stop at like a 60 to zero or a 40 to zero. So I'm gonna gain some speed. Obviously not pissing people off. All right, here we go. It's a pretty long stretch. And 60. Oh God, I got stuff flying from the back seat at me. See, I put that new brake hardware on and it's scraping a little. Yeah, it was really, uh, oh God, it sounds terrible, it's annoying. Yeah, it was, uh, it was moving on the bracket. That's the thing with new brake hardware is that it just rattles and moves a lot. Because it's not sitting flush on the rotor. But you know what? It'll wear itself down. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to stop one more time pretty hard. That's so annoying, man. I hate it. See, this is why I put... I Sometimes I just put the old hardware back on because the new hardware just rattles and makes so much noise. And there's only one way to put it on. It's so annoying. Like, I do brake jobs at work where I just put new hardware on it, lube it up, do it the right way, and then people come back because it makes noise. And it's just like, there's really no way to get around it because the new hardware is so new that it doesn't sit like and like clip into place on the caliper like the clearances are so large that it just rattles around so so annoying but whatever it, it feels really good all right here we go i'm gonna stop fast i need to get this stuff oh, that hardware is so annoying it'll wear down No, nothing should fly. All right, let's go. And break. Woo! Yeah, she stops. problem though. All right. We're good. All right. It came out good. So, uh, yeah, it, the car stops great. The noise actually went away, uh, as I was driving home. So I'm not taking it apart. There you go. ABC brake pads. Yay. All right. I'm done. <laughs>